Morning Tom, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate uh, a few exercises that you can do with a lot of kids on two courts with only one coach. Um, my assistant Ben is filming for me and we're going to do them in short uh, breaks. So I'll do the first one, then we'll take a break and then we'll do the next one. Right? So the first exercise, very simple, um, you've got all of the children have a racket and a ball. Balls should be worn or use single dots or even if necessary use a uh, squash 57 ball. Um, first exercise, they simply have to progress around the court keeping the ball under control. So I'm going to do one lap of the court. What I usually do is not let the next child go until the first child has got to the end of the forehand side wall. Right, so here's the exercise. And you're just emphasizing that they've got to stay sideways on and just loft the ball up. And once the first child gets to here, the next child can go. Tell them that there's no passing, that they have to stay in order. But it actually takes quite a lot of ball control skill to do this exercise. I usually get them to do two laps on the forehand and then two laps on the backhand. So you have to complete obviously the forehands first and then do the backhands. And then if they've got the skill, you can have them do the same thing on the volley. Okay, so that's exercise number one, and we'll cut there.